Hello, I'm Dr. Laura Marciando from the Department of Family Medicine at Gunderson Lutheran Health System in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I have reviewed this exercise video and found these exercises to be safe and effective for improving strength and flexibility during a normal pregnancy or after a normal delivery. Consult your physician prior to beginning any exercise program. Stop if you are having pain or if you are uncomfortable. Call your health care provider if any problems or concerns arise. This is Jess Bolin, a wellness education specialist at Gunderson Lutheran Health System. She'll be demonstrating our pre and postnatal exercises. You'll need a chair, preferably one without arms, comfortable clothes, and good shoes. We'll begin with exercises for the head, neck, upper back, and we'll move down to the hips and legs. To begin, I want you to sit on the edge of your chair so that you have a nice straight back. We'll take two deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth just to begin, just to get started and relaxed. And in through your nose and out through your mouth. Our first exercise, we'll turn our head, we'll look over your shoulder and back to center and looking over the other shoulder and back to center. Let's do that one more time, looking over your shoulder, coming back to center, and looking over the other shoulder. Good, back to center, we'll take and drop your head, your ear towards your shoulder, feel your neck muscle stretch, and back to center, and other side. And back to middle one more time to the side. Let those muscles stretch. Center and side. Coming back up, we'll drop your chin to your chest, letting the muscles in the back of your neck and upper back stretch. And come up, relax. We'll do that one more time. Drop your chin. and come up. We're gonna do a half circle. You do that by dropping your head over to the side, bringing it down through the middle and to the other side. Stop and come back down through the middle. These are half circles, not full circles, just down through the middle. Stretching, feeling the muscles in your neck and back stretch. Let's do one more. down and around. Good. Moving on to shoulders. We'll be shrugging shoulders up and down. Remember this is important time for you to pay attention to your body. The demands of being pregnant cause you to fatigue much faster. Exercising at a level that allows you to talk is a good way to measure what moderate exercise feels like. Let's do two more. And then we'll circle the shoulders up and to the back. Excellent. It's a lift to the back and down. Up, back, and down. And one more time. We'll change directions. This time we lift up. We shrug forward and drop your chin down to your chest. You get a nice stretch through your upper back when your chin is down. And let's do two more. Excellent, good. Taking a break, our next exercise is a back stroke. So we're going to take and reach up and around with one arm. Nice large circle. Stretch to your ability, your range of motion. 
good. Turning gently to the side as you go, if you can. We do want to avoid positions that might stress your already stretched abdominal muscles. We'll do one more on each side. Good, deep breath. And as we continue, the arms come up over your head as you inhale and down as you exhale. And up when you inhale and down as you exhale. And one more time, up and hold that position. Place one hand behind the other and a nice stretch up over your head. Nice and tall in the chair. Good, and relax down. Next position is similar. Your hands are out in front and you press. Rounding your back, stretching out your upper back and shoulders. And good, and relax. One arm comes up to the side and we're gonna gently reach and stretch should feel this from your hips all the way up through your rib cage. And let's do it on the other side. As long as you feel comfortable, it's a good exercise for you. One more on each side. If anything is uncomfortable, please just take a moment and rest. Other side. And last one. Good. Our next exercise, arms are out in front. We're going to row or pull our elbows back, opening up our chest, and squeezing your shoulder blades together. Good, great exercise to stretch your chest, and then to squeeze your back muscles. Let's do two more. And last one. Good. We're going to stretch out the back, lift your elbow, comes up, and we're going to wrap it right around, stretching out your shoulder, your triceps. Good. We're holding it. And let's switch to the other side. Elbow up, wrap it around. It's a nice, gentle stretch. And we can do the same from overhead. Take one arm up, bend at the elbow, and you reach up for the elbow and pull it towards the center part of your body. You should feel a nice stretch. Good, and to switch it, we drop our arms, lift your other arm up, bend, and reach for your elbow, pulling it towards the midline of your body. and relax. We've got one more stretch for our back and shoulders. Place one arm behind your back. Good. Your other arm comes up and over. The object is to reach fingertips towards each other. Good. Now let's try it on the other side. Take your opposite arm back behind your back. Hold it there. Reaching and dropping. Nice stretch. Good. We're going to continue with the arms. Your elbows are at your waist, your palms are up. We're going to rotate wrists so that our palms are up and then facing down. Rotating from the elbows. Two more. Palms up and down, palms up, and we'll stop there and we're gonna make a fist and then stretch out through your fingertips. Fist, stretch, fist, and stretch. Two more, in, stretch, last one, 
good. Drop your hands to the side. Our next exercise are bicep curls. You curl up and turn your hands and press back. So it's a bicep curl in front and pressing back and lifting for your triceps. Curl and press. Curl and press. That looks good. Let's do two more. Here's one. And here's our last one. Slow and steady, using the shoulder muscles. Good. We're going to take a little break here and get a drink of water. It's important to stay hydrated while you're pregnant. Drinking eight ounces of water before and after exercise is important. Remember, this is a time to maintain your fitness level, not necessarily increase it. Let's get comfortable in our chair again, check our posture, and we're gonna move to hips and legs. We're gonna alternate legs, lifting each knee, each, each leg up in a marching motion. Good. A little faster. There we go. Trying to increase our circulation, get moving a little bit. Five more. And five, good job. Next exercise, we're gonna take and lift one, one leg up and touch over to the side. Bring it back to the middle and switch legs. Up and over, using your quad strength to do the lifting. Up and over. Two more times on each side. This is our last one. Good, let's extend one leg. Heel sets down on the floor. We're gonna rotate our foot in and out from the hip. Nice gentle stretch. Two more, in and out at your own pace. Good, let's switch to the other side. Heel is out, rotating back and forth. Last two. We'll switch back to the other leg. We're going to lift the leg and do some pointing and flexing of the foot. You can hold it up off the floor. If your foot gets tired, you can set it back down on the floor and do the same thing. Last, last one, and we'll switch to the other side. Holding up your foot. Pointing and flexing. And last two. Good, let's reposition. We have another leg exercise where we're going to lift the knee, extend the leg, bend it, and put it back down. Other side, we'll alternate sides. When you alternate sides, it gives the opposite leg a bit of a break. If you want it to make it more difficult, you could do eight to 10 reps on one side and then switch to the other side. Right now, we're alternating sides. We'll do one more on each side 
and then take a minute to stretch. Good job. Now, again, on the end of your chair, we're going to extend one leg out straight with your heel. Bending forward gently, rest your weight on your elbow, your knee, and reach with your other arm. The idea is to be gentle, but to stretch your hamstrings, the muscles behind the back of your thigh. Holding that position. Let's move to the other side. Same hamstring stretch. Remember that your joints are looser because of the hormone relaxin when you're pre pregnant. Avoid moves that put extra pressure on any connective tissue. So this and other stretches should feel comfortable. All of these are very gentle. Good, and coming back up, we're gonna return to some marching. That's lifting one knee, then the other. And a little faster if you can. The last couple ones. And we're gonna take a bit of a break. There we go. Um, good time to drink some more water. We're gonna stand up and get ready to move to some chair exercises. It's always a good idea to eat a snack two hours before any exercise so that it maintains your blood sugar level. Protein or a complex carbohydrate snack is a good choice like wheat crackers and cheese or peanut butter on wheat bread and an apple. As Jessica is demonstrating, we're going to take our chair and face the back of it, standing nice and tall using the chair for balance. Feet are about shoulder width apart. We're going to begin by doing some calf raises, lifting your body weight up and down, up and down, up and down. The chair is here for some balance. Try and keep your shoulders back. Nice straight line. And let's do two more. Up and back. Now we're gonna take a step back and do a calf stretch, stretching out your calf muscles. Your heel presses down to the floor and your front leg is bent. Use your chair for support. Just let the muscles stretch in your calves. And when you're ready, we're gonna switch to the other side. Heel presses back for the back leg and the front leg is bent. That looks great. Come on back up. We're gonna do a little balancing on one foot Strengthen our ankle muscles. Again, using the chair for support if you'd like. It is a challenge to try and do it without support. As your ankle moves back and forth to balance, that's the strengthening part. Excellent, two more counts and we'll switch to the other side. When you're ready, try and balance without holding on. Good job. And come on down, let's readjust. We're gonna do the next challenge, which is to balance on one foot and do calf raises at the same time. When you're ready, we're gonna lift our body weight up and lower it down. Up and down and down, up and down, up and down. Two more times. You wanna do as many as you can, but if you need to, take a break. Let's use the other foot, balance, and when you're ready, lift, up 
and down. Good job. Up and down. Two more times. Great. And back to a calf stretch. The rule of thumb is if you've used the muscle to stretch it, this is a great stretch for your lower leg. Holding it and then switching to the other side. Good. Now let's continue. We've got a couple more exercises for your hips and legs. I want you to hold on to the chair for support. You're going to balance on your inside leg and your outside leg will be the one that does the work. As we begin, we're going to lift our front leg up and back using our quadriceps strength. Eight to ten repetitions is a good amount. If you can do a couple more, please do. If you need to rest, you can certainly stop and rest. And last two. Good. Same sort of thing. This time your leg is going to go out to the side and down. It's not a high lift. It's just a nice, gentle lift. Your knee stays facing forward, as does your foot. And we'll do two more here. Good. And we'll be moving to the back with your leg. Balance again and your heel lifts to the back and down. And up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up. And the last one here. And we've got one more exercise while we're standing. Take a half a step backward with your inside foot. Your front leg is out in front and you're going to take and pull that front leg over to the front, crossing your body. Your heel reaches towards the leg of the chair, using your inner thighs to do the work. Inner and outer. And we'll do two more. Good job. We've got one more stretch before we move on, and that's for our quadriceps. We're going to take a towel, which makes it a little easier, around your ankle and stretch the other, each leg. Good. You want your shoulder, your hip, and your knee to be in a nice straight line, and a little bit more stretch, your leg goes back. Good. Now let's do that on the other side before we switch and do our leg exercises on the other foot. Good stretch. Okay, let's move to the other side of the chair. We're going to do the same hip series. Balancing on your inside leg, extending your leg to the front. We're going to lift and lower. That's good. Again, we want to do eight or ten reps. We're going to be doing a couple less. One last one here. We'll take it to the outside. Good. You know this exercise now that you've done it. We're just doing them on the opposite side. And the last one here. And we're going to take the same leg and reach it to the back and back, and back, excellent, and the last one is here, and then we've got one more exercise, take the half a step back and cross the foot over in the front, good, pulling it in, using your inner thigh, Continue. Let's do two more. Good job. Great. Feeling good? We're going to 
Return back to our chair. Finish with a couple of nice deep breaths. As we take those deep breaths, let's raise our arms up and exhale. And take a nice deep breath in. You've done a great job. You've gotten through all of these exercises. Hopefully you're feeling good. I want you to drop your arms. We're gonna rotate your shoulders up and back, nice and easy. Hopefully everything feels a bit more loose, warmed up, stretched. Good, good. I'd like you to sit back in your chair now. We're gonna take these last few minutes to relax. I want you to close your eyes. Think relaxed, think calm as you inhale in and exhale. And breathe in deep. You've done some good exercise for you and your baby. Now, as you continue to breathe with your eyes closed and relaxed, the mantra is this, in as you inhale, I am, and as you exhale, relaxed. I am relaxed. I'd like to thank you all for joining us. Use these exercises before and after the baby arrives. Continue to be active for a healthy and a happier baby and you.